So I'm really casual on my salt water. I just do it by taste because I'm used to living by the ocean. Mm. I call it 15%, 15% mm -hmm. salt water. And then I have the carbon stick and we're just gonna put that in here. Um, often I put alligator clips on the end of this phone charger, which is no more than one amp output. Get your little glasses on so you can read this. Glasses, magnifying glass. Pick these up for a dollar at the thrift store. And so, because I don't have alligator clips on it today, I've just wrapped this one end so it can go around the carbon stick. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna clip this. And today, just as a experiment, I'm gonna use nano-coated copper along with it because I have been feeling that I'd like to have those both in here. Mm -hmm. So, instead of either or. So I'm just gonna use a clip and clip that all together. So we've got the carbon stick, the phone charger, this is the negative or the black wire um, going to the carbon stick, and then we're going to clip the... I'm going to get that zinc plate over there. So zinc plate. See it's just this is for CO2 zinc that we're going to make, CO2 <laughs> cans we're going to make today. And I'm going to clip this to here. Yeah, I like your little clips. Those are kind of handy dandy. Yeah, I actually like bigger ones. These are pretty good, but on a mason jar, they like to slide off, mm -hmm. as we will see. They jump. See, there they go. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit tricky putting all these together, so give ah. me just a second. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm going to look at the connections here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically, you've got, yep, you've got the negative or the black end of the phone charger on the carbon rod and we're setting a piece of nano coated copper next to it also a little tiny spring and our zinc plate with the other end there's a white line on this wire here um, oh, we just okay. kind of how to tell the difference but I'll tell you the trick at the end of the um, get a close view of this guy. just the used phone charger that we get at the thrift store and then I'm gonna uh, I just learned this along with a goal from JC. This is just a plain LED bulb and I buy this connector at Home Depot or whatever and the, there's two little screws that hold these yeah. copper wires onto it which just makes it easier to use. Whitney uses a different kind of LED light than I do so this is what I've been using all along. And it's just kind of over the zinc plate so it's kind in there. Just, yep. in the loop. You could figure out a fancier way to put them together but I just do that. It's just real gentle and then I plug it in. And then what we're going to look for oh, is yeah. it, you want this white fuzzy stuff to be coming off of the carbon rod. That's the secret. Mm -hmm. If it's coming off the zinc plate, yeah. then you switch the wires on your phone charger. Wow. Okay. okay. So that's so the it tells secret. You. It tells yep. you what to do. And so we're going to just let that percolate for an hour and we'll come and watch it as it goes. And okay. we'll be having yeah. amazing game. Oh, that's beautiful. I love seeing this new process. Yeah. I, I haven't played it And this yet, only so. takes an hour, so it's mm -hmm. very fast. And, and by the way, the, is it useful to say that I just did some question and answer with the Dr. Copen, and mm -hmm. he said that this will create the GANs that's the same frequency, field strength, function as the original intent of the CO2 GANs that Kesha once made. Nice. Yay. Love it. Awesome. So we'll just set that here, and we'll watch it as it goes. So we're looking at whether there's any aminos going on this. Maybe we have to kind of let it settle down. Well, it will settle down, but they won't necessarily show. And this is um, about an hour later. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. what I'm going to do, look at the movement of this GANS. I mean, yeah, that's gonna be do you just want to like dive into that? I mean, it's so beautiful. I just Gosh. like, my whole soul and spirit just feels like I want to just, it looks like, like a big old snowstorm. Why couldn't you have Doesn't a whirlpool it? bath like that? I jump know. Right in. Well, you know, with all the shh. My thought the is, I think what mm -hmm. I'm going to do is flip this piece of, um, see, we're using zinc coated um, roofing edging here, and it's starting to get dark. I think what I'm going to do is flip it over. And, um, and John actually said those are pure zinc. 
They're not. I what guarantee are you. Me? No. I they, they, no, the ones in Canada are. Some of them are. Mm -hmm. These aren't. Okay. So I, I know. Up. Mine does. So I'm unplugging off. it, and people often ask too: Does the LED light need a battery, or does it light up? No. It, no. No. And no. Basically, mm -hmm. it's the LED bulb that is allowing the current to kind of get modulated by it be its presence there. Slowing so, it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, slowing yeah. it down. So I'm gonna just take this mm -hmm. same piece of zinc. This is from the US and I know that this is um, plated. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but I know I have seen some, I've had people showing us some on the trip that is not plated, oh, okay. that is solid zinc. In Canada, they have solid zinc. It says it right on it. Mm, okay. So I'm just gonna, but for today, mm -hmm. um, I'd like this to go longer because I can tell it still has a lot of activity in it. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna clip the um, wire back to this, which is the wire from the phone charger. And I have it, please note, I have it unplugged while I'm working with it. Okay. And then we'll put our LED light back on here. And together a little bit. And I just do a gentle contact. It's not some super, you know, this yes, is just, just kind of slid over. It's there. just slid over the top of it. But you could be more, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know. I just it's like fine. the gentleness of it. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna plug it back in now that we're done shifting it around. So we got some clean zinc plate in there. Look at how beautiful that Gans yeah. is. Oh my gosh, it's just making a big delight. It's like like this part here. Yeah, is all Gans that's settling. And it's interesting. This one it, it creates it on the top, whereas the other process creates it. It on is the interesting. It does create a lot of it on the top. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then we'll stir it in and here. it will settle. When it's done, take a little peek. Mm -hmm. You can hear it bubble, bubble, bubble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you hear it? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Usually, just lay it on there. Yeah, I'm kind of. So we're looking at harvesting the amino acids off the surface of this gans. Yeah. Mm hmm. Maybe you can open up here. Mm -hmm. Maybe do it a little bit more here. It's okay, we can have some on the kitchen floor. That'll kitchen be great. Floor again. <laughs> I see a couple other spots that look like it. Well, over there. And so we'll try to harvest some before we 